Good morning. Good morning. Are you ready? Day 14. All right, can you find 14? Can you find it? Can you find it? Yep, yes, very close. Ooh, this is different. This is like the first day, I think. It's like little cookies. This was in the beginning. Look at little biscuits. Ooh. <laughs> so gentle. Good boy. You want dental chew? Ooh. Here you go. <laughs> if you guys want a good toy for your dog, we got this on Amazon. And Bruno loves it. <laughs> so it stops. You can turn it off and on, but then when you like touch it or wait a few seconds, it goes again. And then they, they can like play with it. Wait, watch, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Wait, why is it taking so long? There it is. It's so good. Great Christmas gift for your pup. Okay, you guys, good morning. Happy Vlogmas day 15. 10 days from Christmas when you're watching. Oh, I think my headband's like, Bruno's excited. My headband's sliding back. Bruno's freaking out because we're about to go in the car and I told him we're going for a ride. So he's very excited. We just have to go drop off Yar's Tesla. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't even ask questions. I'm just like, okay. I know you want to go for a ride. We're going to go right now. Um, so we're going to do that. And then I have on my workout top because I'm going to do it at home workout sir you're so excited we're gonna go we're gonna go right now all right say we'll be right back tell the vlog tell the vlog we'll be right back okay <laughs> i'm sorry okay okay you guys i just did my cardio and now i'm gonna go in and do my full body workout so let's get after it All right, you guys, workout is done. Look how perfect this matches. So these headbands are from Amazon. They have like a sticky like material underneath so they don't slide back as much. And then my favorite Beyond Yoga workout tops. But yeah, I'm gonna shower and it is so cold. I was craving a homemade soup. So I'm gonna make us a homemade chicken noodle soup. I got this stuff yesterday at one of my pickups. Um, I've just been like in a soupy mood. And I was also thinking about wrapping presents today um, and watching one of those Christmas movies that I didn't get to watch yesterday. So I think I'm going to do that. I have to talk quietly because Yara's working from home and he's on calls. So I think we're going to make some soup. Hey, you guys, I'm popping in to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of this episode of Vlogmas Parade. I actually have been getting asked recently where I get some of my favorite underwear and bras and I've got you covered. Parade is one of my faves. And guys, it's the holiday season, tis the season to treat yourself. And as a plus size girly, I know how hard it can be to find really comfortable, size inclusive options when it comes to underwear and bras that feel good, that look cute, that just meet all the checkpoints that I want in my underwear, and Parade always delivers. And they have some really cute designs. They even just had a collab with Betsy Johnson and everything was so cute. So I recently picked up some more goodies so I thought I would show you guys what I got. Okay, so I totally fell in love with this design. The second I saw it, I'm like, yes, I need that. So I got the matching bra and underwear for this. Look at how cute this is. <laughs> like, is this not the most adorable design you've ever seen? It's got like horses, girls on 
bikes, having picnics. It's just so cute. And you guys, the stretch on these, the silkiness, the fabric feels incredible. I just, I can't describe how good it feels on the body. It's literally like a second skin. So here is the bralette. And then I got the adorable matching underwear. I love these briefs. As you can see, again, they are so stretchy. And you can see this kind of like, you know, this silky fabric. It literally just feels like you have nothing on. It's so soft. Here's a better view of the adorable design. Oh, is it not so cute? So this is the support lift plunge bralette. And then the briefs are the invisible sculpt high rise briefs. This was my favorite. So I had to show you first. Now my favorite thongs from parade are the dream high rise thongs. I love these because they are just so like seamless. Like they just flow on. They've got mesh panels on the side. And one thing I love about these is you know when thongs are not long enough so like you get this horrible wedgie these are really comfortable and they are just like ultra soft so cute i always like to get a nude pair i have been loving pink so i grabbed this this is the triangle bralette in the silky mesh and the color is just stunning this fuchsia this is great for like kind of lounging but it will still give you support but it's just great for when you want something easy to throw on under your favorite sweatshirt but still feel super cute and as i mentioned there was a collab with betsy johnson i had to grab something because everything was so cute so this is the betsy johnson cross back triangle bralette look how cute this pattern is it's got little roses all over with the black mesh so cute and then it has this crisscross in the back. Oh, it's so, so stunning. And then I love this silky stretchy panel at the bottom. It doesn't look like it would be stretchy, but it is. So you get that comfort with that sexiness. It is gorgeous. And then I had to grab the matching bottoms. This is the high cut thong. So cute, such a cute set, such a great little holiday gift for yourself. Okay, if you want to get the comfiest pair of briefs, these are the ones. These are the Dream Comfort Briefs. They are ultra soft. This is the shade Balloon. And I'm telling you guys, these are so stretchy, so comfortable. They fit just like a dream. They have a little bit of mesh at the top, so they add kind of like a nice little look when you wear them. These are so comfortable. If you want to just like test out, I would get these because they just feel incredible on the body. And then just because a matching set makes me feel amazing. I also grabbed the Dream Fit Triangle Bralette. This is literally the underwear in a bralette. So stretchy, so silky, so comfortable. And then it has that little bit of mesh in the back to match the underwear. It feels so good on the body, ugh. And then lastly, I grabbed one more thong. So these are great for leggings. This is the Invisible Thong in the Seamless Universal. It is so stretchy. You can tell it's the same fabric as that first set I showed you where it's just seamless. You can't see anything perfect under leggings or anything tight or bodycon and just so comfortable feels like you have nothing on so if you've also been looking for some good stuff plus size friendly size inclusive super cute this is the way to go and with my code you can get 40 percent off the website no minimum purchase you guys so i will put my code on the screen and i will link these products down below in the description box to make shopping super easy and then we can twin in our matching cute outfits thank you so much to parade for sponsoring this episode of vlogmas now let's get back to the vlog all right, you guys, let's make some soup. Also, a delivery driver left us a little note on the snack station that said, thank you. So nice. And like the number's irrelevant because there's, it's not a real package, but you just want to say thank you. So nice. I have egg noodles, chicken broth. I have better than bouillon. I have some celery. I don't have carrots. <laughs> because they didn't have any and then i have shredded rotisserie chicken the recipe i'm following is from taste better from scratch.com this chicken noodle soup recipe it looks really good and then it has like herbs and stuff but i have everything else i need so let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna see if i have like frozen carrots i have frozen carrots i'm so tempted these are peas and carrots i'm tempted to either like put it in or pick out the carrots i don't know okay 
I also know I need to clean my stove, so let's just let's just not judge that. Also, everyone's been asking, not everyone, some people have been asking, these are hex clad pots and pans and they are absolutely amazing. So the first step is to add butter, diced celery and carrots, um, garlic, and we're gonna saute it. So I need to chop up, I'm just gonna like do a lot of celery since we may not have carrots. This is leftover tea from yesterday, but I literally picked out some carrots from that bag. And now I'm gonna add in a bunch of celery. We're just doing the best we can. Okay, so we're gonna saute this for three minutes and then add in garlic. Cook it for another 30 seconds. And I'm just gonna like casually pick out <laughs> more carrots. Oh my God. I know, this is actually really hilarious. Okay, I'm gonna add in a little bit of minced garlic. It says to do one clove, which I'm gonna guess is that. <laughs> you can never really use too much garlic. Why does garlic smell so good? Okay, so it says 10 cups of chicken broth. Hey, well, how many cups are in 48 ounces? 48 fluid ounces is equivalent Jeez. to six cups. Okay, so we're gonna have to do almost, I'll just, this is 12, it says to do 10, that's fine. So we'll just do both of these 48 ounce things here. It's gonna be a lot of soup. We're gonna be eating soup for days. It's just such a nice, easy lunch though. Now we're gonna add in rosemary, sage, crushed red pepper, better than bouillon. We'll start with how much she says to do. One teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper. Okay, I have rosemary, but I don't have sage. We only do an eighth of a teaspoon of rosemary, so like the tiniest little bit. And then just like a tiny, tiny pinch of red pepper flakes. It says one teaspoon of this, better than bouillon. Okay, I'm gonna give this a mix and let that better than bouillon melt in. And then we'll taste it, see if we need to add anything else. We gotta bring this to a boil and then we'll add in our noodles. Now it says be careful not to over cook them because they'll continue to cook, you know, after you remove the soup from heat. And then lastly, we add in the rotisserie chicken. So this is just so, so easy. I love it. A little taste. Ooh, oh my gosh, that is delicious. I don't think I even want to add anything to it. That tastes so good. All right, I'm going to let this come to a boil. Soup is boiling. Throw in our noodles. So the bag says to cook the noodles for seven minutes. I'm just gonna do five minutes and then they'll continue to cook. We don't want them overcooked. And then at the end, we'll add in our chicken. Actually, I'm just gonna add in the chicken now so the flavors can really get in there. This, mm, mm, mm. The broth tastes so freaking good. It's wild. We'll let this do its thing and then we'll taste. Guys, I should have recorded Yar's reaction because he loves the soup, but he's upstairs working. I had to change into all is calm except for me because I only have 10 more days to wear these. I'll probably wear them after Christmas, but I just love this one. Okay, so I have only tried the broth. Yar tried the whole thing though and he loved it. So, oh my God, that might be the best chicken noodle soup I've ever had. It was so easy. Woohoo! I like making your own too because you can add like as much as you want. I ended up putting a second pack because I bought two of those rotisserie chicken shredded packs. I put the other one in just for like extra protein because like, you know, loaded up with chicken. And I love how much chicken is in it. So this will like really fill you up as well. Oh yeah. So I'm feeling festive. <laughs> I am going to wrap presents my last gift comes in tomorrow i can wrap that one when it comes in i just feel like wrapping and i have to be in the right mood to wrap because otherwise it's kind of just like a lot <laughs> and i have a lot to wrap so we're gonna wrap and i pulled these out from the basement from last year so if we do need extra from the amazon ones i got i do have them and they're in my color scheme not even planned with the like pink red and green so that's perfect. And then, you know, with my family game presents, I have to wrap them several times. So I'll need a lot of wrapping paper. I do have some leftover from the adopted family. So if I have to use that, I can as well. 
and we'll see how much we do. So my tradition, I was gonna watch a Christmas movie while I decorate, not decorate, wrap. But the last couple years, I started a new tradition with myself where I watched all of the Office Christmas episodes <laughs> while I wrap presents. So I'm gonna do that. Maybe we'll watch a Christmas movie later, but it just, cause I can't really focus while I'm wrapping presents either. So I have to watch something I've seen before. So yes, I also haven't watched Miracle on 34th Street yet this year. I need to like make a list <laughs> of all the ones I need to watch. But also the older I get, the more I enjoy Christmas also after Christmas. I feel like it's such a a weird taboo thing to like stay Christmassy after Christmas. Maybe it's just a me thing in my own head, but I just like have a really hard time staying Christmassy once the day is over. But I think this year, as of right now, I might change my mind. I kind of want to just like stay in Christmas mode through the entire month, like until January, because we have a whole week left of December after Christmas. So leaving up the tree, still wearing festive outfits, like just letting the vibes continue. That's where I'm at because I'm just not ready to let go in 10 days. <laughs> so if I don't finish all my movies before, that's fine. We did watch Four Christmases last night. It was Yar's first time. I've seen it like a million times, but he laughed a lot. I was like, I love that. Let's wrap. Whoa, oh, oh. Da, da, da. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you Well, well, well it has been an hour and a half. My back is killing me, but I watched a bunch of The Office episodes. There's a couple left, so I might I might continue to watch them. So this is my grandpa's gift because his birthday is January 2nd, and I can't find my grandma's birthday gift, which is December 23rd. So I'm gonna have to do a little digging because I love her gift. So, but I'm gonna put the game gifts. These are the ones I wrapped a bunch of times with a ton of tape. These are the ones we play, I think I've said it a million times, but with oven mitts, you go in a circle, everyone gets like 30 seconds on the timer to try to unwrap it. Whoever gets to the gift ends up being able to keep the gift. So we've got these. And I also pulled some candles I had in PR for a game gift as well. So I'm gonna put the game gifts in the pantry with the other party stuff. And then I'm gonna put the rest under the tree and I think I want to order on Amazon one of these like little Santa sack gift bag gift present holder bags <laughs> um, to have every year because every year when we have to transport stuff to my grandparents I never like know how to carry it I just put them in like a bunch of Target bags and it never fits properly so I would like to have like a bag to use every year to carry the gifts over so I'm going to place that order as well um, just to make it a little bit easier. But yeah, I ended up so glad I had these from last year because um, the little ones, like they were great for a lot of stuff, but I like having the long ones too. So, and they all look so cute together. I love how all the colors just work so perfectly. But like this wrapping paper is my favorite. If you missed it, they have this one on Amazon. It's got like Santa and a hot cocoa mug, warm wishes, candy canes. So yeah, let's transport these under the tree yay it's so exciting when the presents are under the tree yar will have to wrap his though and we'll continue to flow them out but here we go all wrapped makes me so happy all the different colors and i added bows to like every single one so we love a good bow many hours later all right you guys it is the end of the day i am just sitting in the living room doing some editing here editing today's vlogmas um but i am just loving how the presents look under the tree it is so cozy um i was thinking about doing um like a holiday outfit inspo situation you guys can let me know if you would be into that like i was gonna just like pull some stuff I have already and just like kind of create some outfit ideas 
so let me know if that's a video you would be interested in or maybe i could just do it as like a reel or something but you know we got to do vlogmas <laughs> vlogmas comes first so maybe doing it for a vlog uh would be better but you guys can let me know so if you take away anything from this vlog i highly recommend going and making that soup that soup was freaking delicious um and yeah i hope you guys are all getting close to finishing your christmas shopping your holiday shopping um i can't believe it's coming up so soon but we're gonna have a chill night and just watch a good show curl up after i finish editing but um i love you guys so much thank you for hanging out with me and wrapping presents this is your sign to go wrap your presents because i know you're putting it off i feel you <laughs> but put on a good show put on a good movie and just try to enjoy it but i love you guys and i will see you tomorrow bye